Bob from Outpost 31. We're going through the fifth lesson of, of 3 John and Jude. It gave me great joy to have brothers and come and tell me about your faithfulness to the truth and how you continue to walk in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Dear friend, you are faithful in what you are doing for the brothers, even though they are strangers to you. We've talked about role models and the fact that, that we must be careful who we choose to allow to influence our life. If we, influence, if we are influenced by people who are making bad choices, it's more than likely that we're going to end up making bad choices instead of good ones. Another thing we have to remember is it's a two-way street. The same time we're looking at people, people are also looking at us. It's an endless chain. This guy's watch. This guy's watching this guy. He's watching him. And he's watching him. It'll go on forever. It could be a classmate, a neighbor, a sibling, or another boy in our outpost that's watching us. Are you living a life worth imitating? Do your actions accurately represent your relationship with Jesus? The, Ranger, the Royal Ranger Pledge says, With God's help, I will do my best to serve God, my church, and my fellow man, to live by the Ranger Code, and to make the golden rule my daily rule. The pledge starts right off by reminding us that we need God's help. You can live a life that is worth imitating with God's help. God has given us the gift of the Holy Spirit to help us be the witnesses that that he designed us to be. The power of the Holy Spirit makes us overcomers. It also requires, though, that we do our best. If we don't do our best at something, it probably isn't worth doing in the first place. Too many people like to blame God for their problems and failures, when the truth is that they never really tr ever tried hard to begin with. God honors hard work and commitment, as is shown on the happy chart here. With God's, With God and hard work, He's at the top of the happy meter. Laziness, and he's at the bottom. In order to be someone worth following in the kingdom of God, service is required. Jesus said that the greatest among us will be willing to be the least of us. That is why the pledge says we are to serve. We serve God, our church, and our fellow man. That is servant leadership. It has been referred to as the way of the towel. In the days of Jesus, the greatest display of service was to wash the feet of others. You can imagine then they wore sandals and their feet got extremely dirty. Jesus spent the final part, the final night before he, being, he was to be crucified, washing the feet of his disciples to set an example for us to follow. Now this obviously was extremely hard because Jesus knew the next day that he was going to die a painful death but was still a servant the night before. Finally, we live by the Ranger Code and make the Golden Rule our daily rule. Learn the Code, know the Code, and live the Code. And treat others at least as well as you would like to be treated, if not better. That's the way of the towel, the way of Jesus. That is the path of being someone worth following. We should all strive to live. We should all strive to live this path, and and not just now, but every day of our life. It will be both pleasing to God and an example for others. Let's close in prayer. Dear Lord, help us to be good examples to other in others in our everyday life, no matter what's going on, so that we can just serve you in all the ways that we can. In your name, amen.